This is a problem from section 7-3, similar to your homework. An IQ test is designed so that the mean is 100 and standard deviation is 13 for a population of normal adults. Find the sample size necessary to estimate the mean IQ score of statistics students such that it can be said with 90% confidence that the sample mean is within 7 IQ points of the true mean. Assume that sigma is equal to 13 and determine the required sample size. We have a formula down here, n is equal to z sub alpha over 2 times sigma divided by e, all quantity squared, and that's all we need to use, so we just need to identify the different components. First, let's try to figure out what z sub alpha over 2 is going to equal to. z sub alpha over 2 is going to be a critical value that's based on the confidence level that we have, in this case a 90% confidence level. We can use a calculator to figure that out. I'm going to go to the calculator and choose second function and distributions. It's going to be an inverse norm that's going to help us find a critical value. We have a 90% confidence. It's a two tail. So the tail end that we have is 10%. And then we take half of that. So we divide it by 2. Or we could have just put 0.05 since this is coming from the standard normal distribution the mean is 0 standard deviation is 1 we don't need to include that and we press enter and we see that we're going to get a negative value but we'll just consider the positive value so z sub alpha over 2 is equal to 1.645 so we have z sub alpha over 2 we have sigma given here and then we just need a margin of error and when they say within 7 IQ points, that's going to be our margin of error. So now that we have that information, we're just going to use our formula and fill in all the different components. We have z sub alpha over 2, we have the standard deviation of 13, and we have a sample size of 7. So let's put this in our calculator. Let's start off with parentheses and then 1.645 we'll multiply it times 13 and then we'll divide this by 7 we'll close parentheses and square it and then hit enter so we have 9.333 and the thing that we need to remember about this is that we always want to round up and so in this case our n is equal to 10 so that's our result Next question is asking us to determine if this is a reasonable sample size for a real world calculation. Well, 10 is a nice sample size, so this is reasonable. It's something that we can gather for statistics students, and so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, we would have an issue if it was like a million or something like that, then, then that wouldn't be reasonable. And what we can do is we can check what the, what the homework problem was asking. The homework problem has these choices. It says yes, it's reasonable, a fairly small number, no, no, yes, a fairly large number. I, th I think our, our uh, answer for this one in terms of multiple choice is going to be this first one. Uh, we have a fairly small number, n is equal to 10 is a fairly small number, and we have something that's reasonable. Okay, hope that helps.